Now going back to the transfer process, it will get to the stage where the attorneys are ready for you to sign the transfer documents. These are specific documents that the seller and buyer sign and that are required for the transfer to be registered. The two most important documents for a seller are the instruction to register transfer document and the power of attorney to pass transfer. In these documents, you, the seller, give your written authorization to the attorneys to work on the transfer and to appear on your behalf at the deeds office to formally register the transfer. The deed of transfer or title deed is also an important transfer document. However, it is signed by the conveyancer who prepared it and the attorney you nominated to appear on your behalf at the deeds office on registration of the transfer. Some other documents that you and the buyer will sign include a SARS declaration, which provides the necessary information for a transfer duty receipt to be issued by SARS, a FICA affidavit, and maybe even some forms from homeowners associations and body corporates. Once all documents are in order, compliance certificates are furnished, clearance figures settled, clearance certificates issued, and special conditions are met, we send the transfer documents to the deeds office. We call this step lodgement. Here, diligent examiners meticulously review the paperwork. If discrepancies or mistakes exist, the transfer documents are rejected, meaning they are sent back to the attorneys for corrections. If everything is correct, the transfer is registered, signifying that the property has officially changed hands from the seller to the buyer. Once registered, the transfer attorney usually takes one or two days to transfer the proceeds of the sale from their trust account to the seller's nominated bank account. At this point, you should also close your municipal account with the municipality and apply for a refund of that portion of the clearance figures you paid, which covers the rates and taxes past the date of registration. These refunds are paid into the attorney's trust account, but often take very long to be processed. It is the seller's responsibility to apply for and follow up on the refund with the municipality. So do not expect this refund to happen automatically.